friends, my name is Dolores and I am a fine artist and instructor residing in beautiful Kenya. I'll be giving lessons on how to paint simple objects like a still life and more challenging things like a portrait in charcoal, in oils, landscape painting and many more. Caribou to my channel! Hello my friends and welcome to this very special episode on my YouTube. Today I've been inviting my good friend Florence Wang Wu, who you see there. Uh, she's an artist as me, and we're going to be sharing our thoughts, our ideas, and our beliefs. Uh, because as artists, as anybody else, we are going through um, a big challenge these days. Uh, because of the pandemic, we know that the world is not going to be the same once this is over and the art world is going to be very different from what we know. So I think that getting together or talking with other artists, like in this case, uh, we can discuss what we're going through. Um, we may empower ourselves and uplift each other through ideas, through prayer, and for just sharing where we're going uh, to do projects, etc. when this is over. Hope that you like this episode very much. Hi. How are you? I'm very fine. How are you? Well, I'm doing my best considering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell me about the last painting you're doing. What are you up to right now? Um, I'm working on a painting of uh, hands. I think I told you about this before. I'm working on uh, a painting series. It is significant to me at this moment, at this period of, that we are having and the world is experiencing the effects of COVID and mm -hmm. lockdown and quarantine and all that that is to deal with COVID. So I'm, I've been painting hands a lot and I'm painting hands holding roses, white roses to be specific. Uh, and I find that significant at this period. Yes, that's what I've been doing right now. How about you, Dolores? What have you been up to? <laughs> um, I have a question for you. So what do those roses symbolize for you, Florence? Um, they symbolize... Uh, they symbolize uh, memories of those who've already left us. That's why I've painted them white. They also symbolize the memories of the times before COVID when, when everything was all calm and peaceful. Uh, so it's like I want to take the person back to those memories and back to remembering those who've already been affected by the COVID, whether through death or sickness. And from every moment there, every moment that we experience, uh, especially bad moments, there is a hope that we get from it somehow. So it's just to represent not just those memories, but a form of hope that we can acquire from, not, not really acquire, but we can, we can, how do we say it, oh my gosh. Something, something that we can draw from that experience, something positive. Yeah, something like preserving uh, good memories, uh, waiting to make up new memories. Yeah, something like that. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I completely agree with you, Florence. Uh, I guess for us artists, we're so sensitive and we tend to swallow uh, almost every mood, every pain, at least that's a uh, truth for me, uh, that I kind of emphasize, as you say, with everybody that is in pain. And sometimes I get in a very down mood, like these last days. Uh, what, I, <laughs> what I did today was diving head first in the canvas and start something new. Um, maybe not like you doing like a hands with roses uh but kind of painting the life that still surrounds us 
uh, trying to find hope in beauty. Uh, we went with my husband to Naivasha, to a place that we usually visit, and I had painted before, and it was all underwater. So not only the COVID, but sometimes the climate makes uh, things also hard for people to work on, no? That was a hotel and it's underwater. But I say, I'll try to find beauty even in that. Um, I think it's in the same sense that you, I'm trying to find hope. Uh, and I really rely on, on prayer for that. <laughs> and also in this wonderful, uh, the power that art has for healing, no? I think that uh, I, I saw one of your hands with a flower and I say, beauty always moves us, no? Very profoundly. And I think that people, maybe that are not artists like we are, need to see beauty, need to find hope. And maybe we can offer that to the people that see our art. What do you think about that? Yes, uh, definitely, definitely. We really need that in life. Healing is part of life and without it, we cannot move on. That's how I see it. And uh, we need the elements of healing around us, whether it's through art, through people who encourage us, we really need it. So I'd like to ask you, uh, how, how, has the, how has this COVID season affected your art, your art space? as an artist, like your, how, how, how your, your creative process, your mental space, your spiritual space, your physical space, how has it affected you? Has it affected you? Oh, or yes. you just look? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we used to paint together, Florence, and I have those memories with me that warm my heart when we had a class going on and all our friends painting and laughing and enjoying and i remember how you used to say to me stop there that painting is is well done that's it and now i don't have you there to say <laughs> stop <laughs> no i mean i rely on those memories and uh, the space is very lonely uh, so i put music <laughs> i pray and then i paint and once i start painting maybe it happens also to you there's a flow you know an energy that comes a creative energy um, but I, I've switched uh, from painting wildlife, for example, only to paint moments. Uh, for example, my friend Valentina, she was uh, to have her baby. And we were all worried that that curfew will, will happen. The baby will come in the moment of that curfew. So she used to come with her two-year-old boy, Enrique, home to visit. And so Enrique will have me as a, you know, an adoptive grandmother. And from that moment, I, I took some photos of her with a big womb and Enrique feeding the, the rooster. And that's coming into a painting. And, and that now is now that the baby was born and everything went well. It's like, oh, okay, that's a moment that we were afraid that something might go wrong. Now I can paint that moment and relax and say, okay, it's an hour at a time, only an hour at a time that we have to live. I don't know if that answers your question or not. <laughs> no, no, it does. It does. It does. It really does. Because I know for me at first, I thought that I would be affected because I'm an introvert. So I thought that, oh, wow, this would be me and painting, me and my paintings. So I'll be like working, working, working and working. So I thought that would like, that is what I would be doing, but I think the, all human beings, we are connected. And once uh, there is change in the air, once there is anxiety in the air, once there is pain or joy in the air, somehow you have to be affected by it. So all this anxiety, somehow I absorbed it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how, but somehow you get it from people, even from people you love around you. So found myself more looking uh more extroverted let me say that so i would reach out for people and i ended up even wanting to visit them although it's uh almost impossible right now but yeah it, 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 I'm, I'm finding it that i want to be more out there and i also want to hear people's experiences and stories and i think that will somehow is fueling 
my creative process right now, which is unusual because I don't do that a lot. But yes, that's how I've, I've been seeing it. But uh, yeah, it's going good. It's okay with me. Mm. Yeah, I thought when, as you said, say, oh, I'll have more time for painting because I, I won't be distracted uh, with other things. But uh, it happens to you. I have a, a very deep feeling to reach out to others because most of the time I'm not anxious. I'm okay. I'm happy. I'm enthusiastic, trying to find the good things about everything, you know, enjoying nature. But I know that some people are going through very bad times. And I say, well, if I don't paint today and if I just talk to a friend, that's, that's okay. I don't need to paint so much. I need to live, you know, to live and, and go deep into the process of, of, you know, the pain that we all feel, the anxiety, the fear. Uh, but I'm sure that this will always, you, our art is not going to be the same. Don't you think so? Yeah, for sure. Not just art, but I think everything is not going to be the same again. I think we have to adapt into a new normal uh, that we all have to just, uh, yeah, we all have to adapt to a new normal. And uh, I think it's different for everyone depends on what normal you're talking about but definitely everything has changed historically so it's i see it as um it's it's part of life challenges are part of life it's for us to to take them and synthesize them and digest them and come with a positive with a with, with the positive solution out of it and move on and move ahead there's so much to do there's so much to teach the younger generation so i see it like a wave like like the way you you're on the sea and, the, and maybe uh the, the huge waves are coming or a huge storm is coming but it's not, it's just but, a, but for a moment or a season and then it die it dies off and a new another new season comes so that's how i see it you just have to do what you can and live life i, I guess very many times it's 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 for me it's very difficult to take breaks but i'm finding it easier right now to take breaks and some things like this i think they happen so that they wake you up from from sleep from your work that that you've been buried in your work so it's like a reminder that perhaps living is more important than anything else mm. and uh, i have got to thank for that yeah i'm finding beauty in dark moments that's how i see it whoa that's powerful <laughs> i think that that inspires me very much. Um, I'm thinking, Florence, well, you know, for younger generation of artists, uh, not only from, from Kenya, from, from other parts, do you have a message for them at this moment that they might be thinking that maybe art's not good because they're not going to earn any money? And, you know, as you say, that there's going to be, everything's going to be new and different from what we know. So what do you think you can say to to younger generations, if you have a message for them, as an artist, as a woman, as a Christian. Hmm. Wow, there's so much to say, and at the same time, I feel I don't have anything, but uh, I think the most important thing is to stay true to yourself. Uh, these things have happened before, We've had, uh, there was the Spanish plague, there was the bubonic plague. There have been uh, other diseases that have affected the world before. So it's for us and for everyone to adjust and not to give up. You just have to adjust. You just have to have the confidence that you'll see tomorrow. 
and it is just this is happening just for a season so uh this is a good opportunity to reflect uh reflect a lot about your life about where you are, you want to you are to be moving towards to just do your best and work 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 because as as things get better and, and uh things open up economically at least you'll be ready you won't be like uh, i don't have enough work or something you'll be ready so work 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 enjoy the creative process enjoy life itself and i like to i like to pray a lot so that really, really helps me it's so much easier to know that there's someone higher than you that cares for you and is ready to take all your burdens so for me i find a lot of rest in that i don't know about others but that's how i have that that's my experience let me say that so yeah work 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 and enjoy the process and enjoy life that's it how about you wow Flores, that that's amazing <laughs> i i really like that phrase of you that you said before find beauty in dark dark moments no and i will say that if i don't practice my art i will kind of die i think i feel like art is the air i breathe uh, i cannot stop even if i know that in a future it might be very hard to sell our paintings and for me i think my message for other people is as, as you say keep on going keep on working embrace the moment if you're feeling sad you're feeling sad if you're anxious you're anxious reach out to others and try to see beauty as, as you say even in these dark moments and learn about ourselves no i have learned a lot about myself in these past months things that you know embracing who am i with my possibilities and my limitations and being happy with it i'm pretty happy about being very <laughs> limited and knowing that somebody very powerful and loving is taking care of me and all my things uh but i think that also um, i feel more eager to teach than ever uh because most of the time as i say i'm very enthusiastic about art and other artists and history of art and how art has been marking the movements in history also no um i think we're very little we don't know but i think each artist leaves a mark and i'm sure when this passes and we are maybe already buried on the earth uh, somebody will will say florence wambu is is helping me with this she's uh, she was an inspiration to me in this moment maybe this is going to happen in 30 years but you know uh, we are connected to artists from the past and to people from the past so i think that yeah embracing the moment and enjoying and you know let, letting things be as they are trying to do our best working and be ready as you say when everything opens up i have like 30 works of art <laughs> waiting for next exhibit <laughs> but it's okay uh, i'm enjoying the process most of the time yeah <laughs> i like how, i like how you put it um yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah let's enjoy this <laughs> Yeah. So that's what we can right now because everything seems pretty gloomy but yeah we can only do what we can and enjoy it yeah yeah you yeah. know it, it's on in the maybe here you don't really understand the concept of the seasons because you have a beautiful weather most part of the year but when you live in in, in the northern hemisphere and you see how the the harsh winter the trees seem like they are dead and there's no flowers and there's no grass everything is still quiet mm. and then spring comes i think that life is like that no spring will come again for us yes and i believe and we'll play together again <laughs> hopefully soon yeah i miss that <laughs> yes yes has your working process changed since we started with the confinement, the lockdown, or is it the same way that you used to um, have your routine of work? 
is has the pin the same or is it different? Uh, it's it's definitely a bit different. Um, mm -hmm. I've had periods where I've been really really stuck. I don't know, it's like a mental block or something, but I think, um, yeah, but I've had to give myself time. Like, like I said, like we had talked earlier, I've, I've learned how to rest because I normally don't take breaks or rest when I'm working. So that has really forced me and pushed me to rest and to actually work on some, some ideas. I also have a uh, hard time to absorb the environment. I really, I really enjoy absorbing my environment so that I can come up with my own perspectives that I can put into paintings. So I've enjoyed that process. I'm still enjoying it. I'm still learning how to take breaks. And the subject has also changed for me. Um, I'm looking more into people and people and people. I guess it's because uh, I see us connected and I feel the connection. And the, the, the pain that someone else feels, you feel, or, or at least you empathize with, with someone. So that has been also part of my creative process. But yeah, and there's also, I've also discovered uh, there's more to an online audience right now. So I'm trying to get my work out there. I'm still work on the, I'm working on it. But I guess there are more opportunities online than physically because right now you're restricted to moving into galleries right now. So, so much is happening online. So we're trying to get our work online, uh, at least online via WhatsApp, via Instagram, via the gallery's websites, uh, the galleries in Nairobi that is. And yeah, that's how it's been. I don't know about you. How, how has it been for you? Well, you know, I usually paint at home and the discipline I have for painting is mostly the same. But as, as, as it happened to you, I have had moments that I I am like, I don't know what to do or what to paint or I miss, I, I think that most of my inspiration came uh, painting with other artists and then I didn't have that anymore. So music has taken a role, a big role there uh, as a company and also sharing online, as you say, uh, for me to have this Instagram and and showing my paintings. And even one of our friends from the class said to me when I was painting the series, check the anatomy of the leg. <laughs> you know, because that's a problem when you paint alone, nobody corrects you. And I did. And uh, so, yeah, I feel like sharing uh, online, Instagram or WhatsApp, because I don't think we paint for ourselves anyway. We're supposed to do this for others to enjoy. Uh, so I think that's a moment that we should discover ways in which uh, we can show our work more online than ever until we are able to make it in, a, in an exhibit as it was before and try even to sell online, of course. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. I also miss the classes a lot. <laughs> I enjoy painting with other artists. It's it, it kind of energizes you to another level that you wouldn't if you are alone and, and if you are painting alone. So I also miss that a lot. How has your, or let me ask, how do you think your, your teaching has changed or do you think uh, it's going to change after this? Um, well, I, I, I'm looking forward to be able to give classes again. Uh, and enjoy the process of being together because each time that I teach, I learn. Uh, it's really a humbling experience to teach. Uh, but on the other hand, I've discovered that many people have time now to learn through the YouTube episodes. 
uh, people are telling me now I always thought I didn't have that time to paint and now I have that time to paint so I'm just thinking of future episodes that I can uh, help others to understand for example the portrait of um, the process of painting a portrait of a child which is so hard and things like that so yes I feel like it's uh, a time that I, I feel I should go more onto the teaching process more than ever great i'm looking forward to that <laughs> okay florence uh, I'll, I'll i'll be doing a follow-up on you okay <laughs> yes me too oh, thank you florence it was wonderful talking to you hope to see you soon my friend okay. bye 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 if you find this episode useful please subscribe like and share next time it's gonna be about children's portrait i'll be very happy to share with you all the tips that i know I'm going to be working from photograph and I'll tell many details that make easier a hard job, which is a portrait of a child. I'll see you then.